Hey, it's Clint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress website in 10 minutes. This is the website that we're going to create today. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can find thousands of free designs like this that you can use for your website. Okay, and to get started, we're going to need a host and a domain name. And the host that we're going to be using today is called Arvix Web Hosting. And the reason we're going to be using this host is because it's inexpensive. It's got unlimited disk space. It's got a free domain name for life. Um, it's gotten several awards in the past for being the most reliable host on the internet and it comes with WordPress so you don't have to worry about installing any extra software on our computer and on top of all that it's got a few extra tools that we're going to need later on. So to get started click on the button below this video it's going to bring you to this page and once you're on this page click on the big green button right here to the right that says view plans and this page is going to give you an overview of the different plans that Arvix offers since this is just an example website, I'm going to go ahead and click on the green Order Now button here to the right. And I'm going to go ahead and get the personal class $7 a month plan. And I'm going to click on Add to Cart. Okay, and then once you're on this page, go ahead and fill out the form, create a username and password, and then check the Terms of Service box. I'm going to pause the video while I do this, and you can go ahead and do the same. Okay, and once you click Next, it's going to bring you to this page, and here we're going to choose a domain name for our website. So make sure the very first bubble is checked, register a new domain, and create a brand new domain name that is simple so that people can remember it. So for this example, I'm going to choose clintsteam.com. Once you're done with that, scroll all the way down to the very bottom, and make sure the auto renew is checked. If you're in the United States or Europe, go ahead and check the server region and then choose uh, your location from this drop-down. If you're not, you don't need this, it's not necessary. And then next to automatic software installation, check that box. And then from this drop-down, we're going to select WordPress blog under popular scripts. And then click on next. And that's going to bring us to step three. Go ahead and click on place this order. And here we're going to put in our payment information. So I'm going to pause the video while I do this, and you can go ahead and do the same. All right, so once your payment has been accepted, you're going to go ahead and install your website, which Arvix will do automatically for you. And it's going to bring you to a page that looks a lot like this one. And here we can find our homepage URL and our admin URL. And we're going to go ahead and log into our WordPress blog. So click on the second URL that says your domain name backslash WP dash admin. And that's going to bring you to your WordPress login panel. So your username is going to be admin. And your password is going to be the same password that you created when you signed up for the host. And click on login. And it's a good idea to bookmark this page. Okay, and once you've logged in, it'll take you to your WordPress dashboard, and this is basically the control panel for your website. If you click on the My Blog here in the top left, you'll see that your website is live. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to modify your website. I'm going to show you how to edit the title and tagline of your website, how to create posts and pages, how to edit your sidebar, and how to change the design of your website. Okay, so we're going to need to go back to our dashboard. So to get there, you're going to click on the My Blog link here in the top left of your website. And first, I'll show you how to change the title and the tagline of your website. So down here under Settings in the left-hand sidebar, click on General. And for the site title, go ahead and title your site however you'd like. I'm going to put Clint's Team. And for the tagline, I'm going to put how to create a website. And then scroll all the way down to the very bottom and click on save changes. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to create posts for your website. So up here in the left hand sidebar, you're going to see the posts link. Click on all posts. 
And you can see that we already have a hello world post. We're gonna go ahead and click on edit to edit this post. And I'm gonna delete the hello world. And this is gonna be my first post, so I'll just put my first post. And below the title, you'll see an area for the body of the post. You can go ahead and put whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and put some placeholder text here just because this is an example. And then here to the right, click on Update. Okay, and then at the very top of the page, click on Add New. This is going to add a brand new post. So for my second post, I'm gonna put my second post. And in the body, I'm just going to paste the placeholder text that we used before. And then here to the right, I'm going to click on Publish. And then next, we're going to create a page. So here in the left-hand sidebar, hover over Pages, and then click on All Pages. And here you'll find the default sample page. Go ahead and click on Edit underneath the sample page. And we're going to change the sample page to About Me. So this is going to be our About Me page. So I'll just leave all this text here just because this is an example. And I'll put This page is About Me. And then here to the right, click on Update. Okay, and now I'd like to add a Contact Me page. So here at the top, you're going to see an Add New button. Click on that. And we're going to call this Contact Me. And then in the body, I'm just going to put, here's how you can contact me. Okay, and then to the right, we're going to click on Publish. Okay, and next, I'm going to show you how to edit the sidebar for your website. So here in the left-hand sidebar, hover over Appearance, and then from the drop-down menu, select Widgets. And here in this section, you can see all of the widgets that are in our primary sidebar at the moment. So we can go ahead and remove these by dragging them out of the sidebar. And we can use any of these widgets here on the left and just drag them to the sidebar. So in my sidebar, I would like a search bar. I would like pages. And I would like a calendar. OK, and this is going to automatically save for you. So once you're done dragging and dropping, you can go ahead and exit out of this page. Next, I'm going to show you how to customize the design of your website. So here in the left-hand sidebar under Appearance, Click on Themes. And at the top of this page, click on the Add New button. And here we can search through hundreds of WordPress themes. So you can enter a keyword into the search field if you'd like. You can come down and check one or more of these keywords down here. Or you can just click on Search, and that'll bring back all of the WordPress themes that you can use. Since I already know which theme I'd like to use, I'm going to go ahead and type it into the search bar and look for it. I'll click on search. Once you find a theme you like, click on the Install Now link underneath the thumbnail of that theme. Okay, once it's installed, click on Activate. Okay, so now if you click on the website title here in the top left of your dashboard, it'll take you straight back to your website. And this is the website that we've created so far. Here on the homepage, you can see that the posts will show up in chronological order. The newest posts will appear at the top of the page. 
Here in the top menu bar, you can see the pages that we've created. So I'm going to click on the About Me page that we made. And you'll notice that the pages will never change unless you go back in and edit them. So here's my About Me page. Here's my Contact Me page. And then if you look at the sidebar, you'll see that we have our Search widget, our Pages widget, and our Calendar. And your pages will automatically update with each new page you add. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can find thousands and thousands of free WordPress themes that you can use for your website. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to Google. And we're going to type in free WordPress themes. And click on images. And here are thousands of free WordPress themes that you can use. As you can see, it's pretty bottomless. It goes on forever and ever and ever. And once you find a theme that you like, go ahead and click on it and then visit the page. Once you're on the website, scroll down and find the theme that you like. So this is the theme that we found earlier. And click on the download theme link and save it as a zip file to your computer. Okay, once you've done that, go back to your website and we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard. So click on your website title here in the top left. And in the left hand sidebar of your WordPress dashboard, hover over appearance and click on themes. And here at the top, click on add new. And we're going to upload the theme that we downloaded to our computer. So click on the upload link here at the top. And we're going to browse for the zip file that we saved to our computer. And earlier, before I made this video, I found a theme that I liked. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that theme. So I'm going to find the zip file. I'm going to click on it, open it, and click on install now. Okay, once it's installed, click on Activate. And next, go ahead and click on your website title here in the top left. And this is the website that we've just created. As you can see, our posts stayed the same. Our pages stayed the same. Uh, we have a few additions to the sidebar. It just depends on which theme you're using. but as you can see, our widgets are still the same here. We have the search, the pages, and our calendar. Um, in most cases, your sidebar will stay the same. It just depends on which theme you choose. So that is how to create a website. I hope this helped, and I will see you all in one of the next videos.